Hey, uh, I've just happened across a really lovely edible mushroom called Artemisia pixidatus. Uh, the common name for it is the crown-tipped coral. Uh, it is a uh, wood-loving species, so it grows only on uh, decomposing pieces of wood. That's a fairly important identification feature I'll get into in a second. Um, but it is called crown-tipped coral by reason of the fact it has these uh, very consistent little fingers or crown tips that are like uh, form a little box right at the uh, terminus of the fruiting body. Uh, you'll also notice that um, the growth pattern of these little fingers is pretty consistent. So, you know, there are uh, other coral looking mushrooms out there that uh, do not have such a clear like branch growth, branch growth. Uh, terminating in a, in a little box. Um, so there is a genus called Romeria that's quite large. They are also called coral mushrooms because they look very much like coral. They grow on the ground as opposed to growing on wood. And uh, so that's a really important distinction if you're trying to figure out if what you have is Artemisia pixidatus, uh, because Romerias are very common. A lot of them have this sort of, uh, you know, pale uh, sort of beige color as well. Um, there are many Romeria that are edible and many people who eat Romeria, but they are notoriously difficult to get down to species and some of them will make your butt explode. And so uh, I'm not a big fan of GI distress, so I'm really, um, just in general, I just don't go for Romeria, but I absolutely go after Artemisia pixidata because it's really tasty. It's kind of, um, you know, uh, got a sort of pork cracklings thing going on. It's really uh, nice to, to fry it up and, and put it in little bits on top of a salad or whatever. Uh, so, you know, again, this is fairly um, common throughout the spring, summer, and fall. Uh, always growing on wood and uh, oftentimes in these uh, little colonies. This is, these are actually fairly small. Sometimes they almost get to be the size of my hand. Uh, but you'll often see like several fruiting bodies along the length of um, a piece of wood that's decomposing. Um, and again, you know, besides that uh, really sort of consistent growth and, and how uh, regular the fruiting body tends to be, they are also different from Mar Romeria because they're a little bit more brittle. So Romeria uh, is kind of fleshy and more like a tr uh, traditional mushroom feel, whereas Artemisia pixidatus you know, when you pick it apart, it makes a nice little snap for you. Um, and then overall, it's just skinnier um, than your Romeria. So skinny, boxy edges on wood, um, and also in this sort of, uh, you know, this is a darker colored specimen. When they are very, very fresh, they can be, you know, snowy white. Sometimes you'll see them also with uh, significant darkening at the base of the fruiting body. So you'll have a really light colored mushroom up top and then this sort of brown blackening uh, area. But anyway, um, I do recommend that you don't overcook them just because they can get really um, bitter, but they are overall delicious, delightful, common, and I recommend that you get to know them.